Hello and welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Taylor Inman. We're going over the biggest headlines for this week in Northwest Montana. Kalispell police officers arrested a 38-year-old man late Wednesday night for allegedly attempting to kidnap a 16-year-old boy at a gas station south of town. Aaron Douglas Kupka of Kalispell was booked into the Flathead County Detention Center on a pending felony attempted kidnapping charge and a probation violation. He remained behind bars Thursday morning. Bail has not yet been set. Officials said officers were called to the gas station at about 10.30 p.m. following reports of a fight in the parking lot. When they arrived, they found that the fight began after a man attempted to pull a 16-year-old male into his car after what was described as an attempt to lure the teen, according to authorities. In November 2022, Kupka pleaded guilty to felony criminal endangerment for allegedly pulling a shotgun on patrons outside of a Whitefish area bar in July of, la- of that year. Prosecutors initially charged him with assault with a weapon. The assault charge was amended after Kupka took a plea deal in October. Kupka admitted to displaying a firearm during the incident while on the stand in Flathead County District Court on October 19th. He received a deferred three-year sentence on December 1st of that year. Enrollment data released earlier this week from the Office of Public Instruction shows an increase in students seeking private or homeschooled instruction and a decrease in public school enrollment for the 2023-2024 school year. Public K-12 students decreased by 1,988 students, or 1.3%, this year, and the non-public enrollee population grew by 403 students, or 2.4%. The number of homeschool kids factored in the non-public enrollment rose by more than 9% in the last year. The state's public school funding formula depends on student enrollment numbers, called the average number belonging calculation. As populations decrease, that means less funding for public schools in the state, one factor in the budget cuts school districts are facing. While there was a slight decrease in public school enrollment this year, when looking in the last four years, there has been an overall increase in enrollment, with nearly 3,000 more public school students enrolled since 2021. There has been a slight decrease in non-public school enrollment since 2021, with the department reporting there are 360 less enrollees in 2024 than in 2021. More recently, between 2023 and 2024, there was a decrease of 382 students in private school and an increase in 725 homeschool students. But there's about the same total number of private school students and homeschool students in the state, at 8,584 and 8,524 respectively. School districts across the state are cutting their budgets or asking voters to levy taxes to help maintain their operating budget. These cuts have been largely attributed to funding losses from a decline in enrollment during more than two decades, coupled with the drying out of pandemic-era federal funding. Public school enrollment peaked in the late 1990s in Montana at about 165,500 students, 17,000 more than current enrollment. Evergreen voters on Tuesday approved a permanent levy to fund Evergreen Fire and Rescue. The levy is expected to net around $2.5 million in its first year and would allow the department to field six personnel at all times, grant moderate wage and benefit increases to employees, and allow the agency to simultaneously respond to multiple calls, according to fire officials. The levy results in an annual tax increase of about $104.86, or about $8.74 per month, on a home value to $100,000. Evergreen Fire and Rescue Chief Craig Williams acknowledged that the recent increases in property taxes and inflation have strained household budgets, and thanks the community for supporting the levy request. On Big Mountain, voters overwhelmingly supported the creation of a Big Mountain Fire District resort area. A newly formed resort tax board will create a plan for how the resort tax revenue will be distributed that will be voted on during another election. The maximum rate for the tax is 3%. The tax is typically collected on luxury retail sales, lodging at restaurants, and for prepared food and alcoholic beverages. State law requires a portion of resort tax collections go toward property tax relief in the area of collection. Those behind putting the resort tax area on the ballot have suggested that funds be largely directed toward the Big Mountain Fire District and other infrastructure needs on Big Mountain. Montana allows for a resort tax to be collected in communities and resort areas that meet specific criteria. For more coverage of this week's election, visit dailyinterlake.com. Thanks for joining us. News Now is a podcast from the Daily Interlake. We're proud to be the largest independent newsroom in Montana and the oldest paper in the Valley. Consider becoming a subscriber to support our work. Call circulation at 406-755-7018 or go to the subscribe tab in the top right corner of our website. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss an episode of the pod. Everybody stay safe and have a great week.